Hey guys, I'm Storm23 here, and today I'll be starting my brand new Let's Play of a game that people definitely heard of. I mean, it's Spider Man, everyone loves Spider Man. But of a game that most people probably haven't played or know about. This is Spider Man Shattered Dimensions on the Nintendo DS. So, straight away, if we go on to new game, we will actually see some options here. We've got game mode, at the moment we can only do story, combat difficulty which is definitely a, is about damage about how much damage you can take, but interestingly enough there's an exploration difficulty thing here. So I'm just going to do it on hero, but yeah it pretty much makes it harder to find stuff, but they're not rearranged because initially I thought, oh it's all going to be rearranged and different to make it harder but no, it's actually just about how many hints you get for finding stuff. So yeah, let's watch this opening cutscene. Welcoming you to the latest harrowing handheld adventure of our high-powered hero, the amazing Spider-Man. Now get ready. You've never experienced action and excitement before with such universal appeal. I got word that Mysterio found some old rock or tablet that was dug up in the construction site. Now, I'm not sure what it is, but if he wants it, I'm sure he's got trouble in mind. This should be easy enough. So yeah, this is actually a sequel to Web of Shadows, which I've done an LP of, which you should uh, go check out if you haven't seen this one, because that is the first game and this is the second game, because it's made by the same people. It's not a sequel in terms of story or anything like that, it's its own separate story, but yeah, it's made by the same people, it's the same engine, very similar style, you know, and the way it's done. Um, most people use the term Metroidvania, which is a very good term, it just means there's this big open world that you can explore and you can find power-ups to get to new parts of the map. Although this game actually kind of, um, I wouldn't say dumbs it down, but tones down that kind of big open map world feel, because this is actually Shattered Dimensions, and the main gimmick of this game, I think I'll get into it in a bit, you know, I don't want to, no spoilers over here. But yeah, there's definitely a lot more improvements to this game. So I've already seen some of them right here, there's actually a brand new mode where you can practice new moves that you get, so if you're not too confident at them you can just use them. And also there's... well, here we are straight into the first boss fight, the very first enemy we fight is actually Mysterio. But yeah, other improvements are the graphics look nicer, I mean the character models and the environments look a lot nicer. Most people probably won't notice that, but it, it does, you know, Spider-Man looks cooler, I'm not checking Spider-Man out, but he does look a... Stunning, let's just say. So this boss battle, I don't think I really have to explain it that much. It's, he won't really attack you, so as long as you keep attacking him like I'm doing here, go for the classic combo, you know. You can also swing and do a lot of damage that way. And what's quite nice about this game, unlike Red of Shadows, is that there's actually numbers coming out of enemies and out of you whenever damage is dealt. So you can actually know exactly how much damage is being done. Which is very cool. I won't let you take it. I'm not asking your permission. Just a quick yank and no. What row? Did that just? And you went? Well, at least this is Spider-Man. <laughs> Madam Web, if you're here, this can't be good. All is not good, Spider-Man. Mysterio obtained a most powerful artifact, which holds the balance of reality in check. Thanks to you shattering it, dimensional rifts have opened, spreading pieces of the tablet across both time and space. Luckily, these pieces have landed in dimensions with their own Spider-Man. Wait, wait, hold, hold up. There are other me's? Yes. In a past unlike our own, and a future which may now never come to pass. I speak to you three heroes. Go forth and restore the tablet, or your reality and those of your counterparts will cease to exist forever. Amazing Spider-Man, you must pass your shard to the other heroes so that they too may use its power to locate the remaining pieces. Seek out the dimensional gateways. The tablet will guide you. Well, Aunt May always said I could use a little more guidance. So yeah, this game is based off, or is a right, counterpart Star. to the uh, console versions. And the interesting thing, well I find it interesting, this is actually like one of the first um, portable Spider-Man games to not get as critically acclaimed as the console ones. 
in recent years anyway, because Spider-Man 2 did really well, but then they started to get bad reviews. But if you look on Metacritic, the, the console version actually got better reviews than this DS one did. Not that this DS one got bad reviews, I mean it's a great game and it's a lot of fun, but I thought that was kind of interesting. But this is actually a toned down version of the Shattered Dimensions, a bit like how Web of Shadows story was toned down and was changed for the DS version. Which I think I think is good, you know. And a big part of this game, in case you don't know, is collecting abilities Metroid or Castlevania style. So yeah, we're gonna be getting a lot of those. But we're still technically in the tutorial, I would say. But the tutorial is like all the actually like in Web of Shadows, the tutorial is very short and you do actually just learn stuff straight away. I mean you just we're still in the tutorial, but we just finished it pretty much. That's it. But here's another DS thing, which I'm not a big fan of. Um, I don't know why they insist insisted on this stuff, but what you have to do is spin the tablet and keep all the demons away. I don't, I don't know. I, I have no explanation for this. <laughs> I don't know if Spider-Man is doing this or if you're now God. Or, oh, I don't really know. But yeah, they're pretty simple sections and they're nice, but... Yeah, you're going to have to do one of those whenever you do change time period. I think, anyway. So this is, yeah, this is the big part of this game, and what really separates it from Web of Shadows. Um, there's actually different Spider-Mans, like the cutscene already explained, although unlike the consoles versions, in this one there's only three. Um, Noir, Spider-Man, Amazing Spider-Man, and Spider-Man in the future, I don't know, sorry, I don't know too much about the Marvel Universe, but, or Spider-Man and stuff, but yeah, the future one. In uh, the console version, there's like a... Can't re I can't really remember, like, Super Future one, but, um, yeah, I don't really know much about that, but there's only three, and at the moment we're not Spider-Man, who can't do certain things that Spider-Man can, like, he can't really, oh, can't really, re he can't, like, crawl up walls, I think, at the moment, which, of course, that's one of Spider-Man's biggest things, because I don't know, again, <laughs> I don't know too much about uh, the Spider-Man universe, but, yeah, it seems like... I don't know if he just can't. I don't know if he actually does have any powers, this guy. It seems like he doesn't. He just seems to roll and... Yeah, instead of, like, swinging and crawling on walls, this guy can wall jump, so... And one thing I want to um, get out of the way, this run... I think it's not going to be a 100% LP. Now, I said that with Web of Shadows, and what I ended up doing there is making a bonus video at the end of the LP showing where all the items I missed in the LP were, so... The chances are that that's what's going to happen, that I will off-screen look for them and then make a separate video, so if you're watching this video as a sort of a guide, um, I mean it should be a good guide, and there's a health upgrade right there which is very, uh, and now you know, you may not have known, now you know. But yeah, I will make a separate video if you're going for a 100% of the items, showing where all the extra items that I miss in the LP are, so. Right. So let's get going. <laughs> so. Okay, so that whole um, detection thing that we just did, obviously they had to come up with some more powers for Noir Spider-Man to have. It's like, oh god, he's in the past and nobody in the past really did anything ever, so we need a power. Oh, he can send switches. <laughs> it's a kind of a lame power, but they had to give him something, the poor guy. I mean, look at this. All he can do is, like, jump. Oh, he can actually swing a black web, though, which is... Um, Disgusting. I'm, I'm going to go with disgusting. So, so what we're doing here is exploring this bank area. As you can see, the map screen on the bottom has been giving a bit of an upgrade as well, and pretty much looked exactly the same as the old Metroid games, or Super Metroid, or Metroid Fusion, or Metroid Zero Mission. Pretty much looks exactly the same. So, but again, I'm not too worried about that. If you're going to rip off a game, and it, you might as well be Metroid. And uh, they, this game's great anyway. It's really well put together and I really like it. So, so yeah, we have these guys with the weapons. What you can do, <laughs> it's kind of badass. You can just take their weapon and then you can actually use that as a projectile to throw it at them. And so you can murder them with their own gun. <laughs> See, look at that. It's so badass how he just, with all this strength, he just takes the gun and just throws it. So we just stopped a bank robbery. Well, hey, go us. But, yeah, um, 
At the moment there's not too many combos we can do, so just stick with the classic combo that I'm doing here, which is punch, 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 or maybe there's a kick in there, I don't know. Punch, 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 uppercut, then punch in the air. That usually sorts them out good and proper at this stage. And also a little thing in case you don't know, or just letting you know, that once numbers stop coming from the corpses, <laughs> that means they're now officially a corpse. So, as you can see there, I'm going to hit him probably. Yeah, see, I hit him a couple of times, but only numbers came out once. So, once numbers stop coming out, that means all his health is gone. And there's this example of the whole Metroid exploring the world. There's a lot of stuff here that we can't actually get to, so I'm assuming at some point later in the game, we're going to unlock a power, become stronger, feel like a badass, go punch some people, and then we can come back. So, so yeah, that's another reason why it will be a separate video, the whole 100% and getting all the items. Just because it would be extremely dull me backtracking to all these areas and you know nobody really wants to see that. So here's where I got a bit stuck. It's kind of embarrassing. Um, you are meant to go that way and I wish part of me would uh, listen to my commentary that I'm doing now. Um, I wish I broke a tablet so I could go back to my past and tell me to stop being an idiot. But yeah there is a little gap there. It's just kinda hard to see I think it's because I'm playing on an emulator, I can't see it perfectly, you know? Like maybe I should have the screen brightness on full or something, but I'm pretty sure um, if you're playing along on your DS, which uh, would be cool if you are, then you can already see the gap, it's right, uh, it's there me. There we go, in we go. Yeah, there's the gap, so it's kind of embarrassing. But I was also looking around for items, you know? Because um, I do actually have a separate save that I'm playing the game on to check for items and things like that, but uh, I probably will still miss some. So. Sorry about that. <laughs> Can't be perfect on anything. Right, go for the door. Be all <laughs> I think you can be all stealthy there and stealth him up, but no, not me. I like to punch him in the back of the head, steal his gun, and throw it at him. That's just how I like to do it here. I'll instill 23 HQ. Yeah, there's not many combos you know you can know at this point. And it might be a good idea to actually like note where items are. Because as you can see there's items here, but I don't you know, the chances of me returning, it's very easy to forget items in this game, so you know, if I you may want to return. I could probably run up the wall. Yeah, that's all one and good. I completely ignored that advice. I just sit blind completely upwards and then went along. The controls are very nice in this game, they're pretty easy controls. And, um, yeah, they actually have done a good job with the physics in this game. <laughs> I know it's not very interesting to talk about game physics, but I've done it now. But we're actually getting towards the end of this part, so I've been on some 23. I hope you enjoy this Let's Play, and I will see you in the next part of Let's Play Spider-Man Shattered Dimensions.